I'm Dr. Brooke Niemick. I'm a board certified veterinary dentist, and I'm gonna take you through our mini or relief extraction kit. I put this together because many practices have needle holders, extraction forceps, thumb forceps, the basic surgical stuff. But when you get into extractions, I want you to use specific equipment, which will make it less invasive and also easier on you and your patient. So in this kit, we have four elevators. There's a one millimeter elevator, a two millimeter elevator, a three millimeter elevator, and a four millimeter elevator. These are really nice and short shanked. And why I really like them, other than being really sharp and that angulation there to get into the periodontal ligament space and luxate the tooth out, that's why they're called luxating elevators, but it's really short shanked. And so you can seat it well into your palm and then still be able to put your finger down at the tip. Why is that important? Well, two things. Number one, because it avoids you slipping and going into bad places if you slip off the bone. And then number two, luxating elevators are designed to be used on a push-in motion as opposed to a twisting motion. So you have to have it well seated in your palm so you get that force going in there. Okay. Also in this kit is what's called a two-four molt periosteal elevator. So two millimeters on one side, four millimeters on the other side. Um, and I use these to create the flaps. I make an incision, um, but this is what I'm gonna use to lift the flap off of the gingiva and off of the bone when I need to. Um, and then finally, this is my favorite piece of equipment. These are called Lagrange scissors. Lagrange scissors are simply curved irises, serrated on one side, smooth on the other. This is what I do most of my surgeries with after I've made my initial incision. This is excellent for fenestrating the periosteum in your um, surgical extractions. So this is the mini or relief vet, vet extraction kit and uh, it's available online.